action. So for Price of Freedom, we were working with a location that had no artificial light. So everything in the film was lit by a pair of Aperture H198Cs and by the natural light from the crate door. In order to get the color tone we wanted and try and keep the exposure a little lower like you would actually have inside a closed shipping container, we set up our green screen as a giant reflector to give us a green fill light using the natural light from outside the set. Until I got blown over by a storm two or thirds of the way through the shoot. We used one of our H198Cs set to orange for our key light in the majority of the scenes, and used the other panel with a diffuser as our backlight, especially in the shots we did inside the closed-up container, where we only had two-point lighting. We also used the panels to stand in for a flashlight to get some really cool shots when our antagonist is scanning the crate looking for the other characters. Panning a single light panel back and forth just off-camera gave us the look we wanted and allowed for a really neat transient illumination. The other thing we did, to help try and sell the isolation of the container, was to intentionally overexpose the exterior so nothing was visible to give a clear end to our set that the actors could move across in the finale. We wanted to convey a sense of hope about the outside world, since our character's collective goal was to escape to freedom, and making the exterior of the set bright white provided a visual cue for that. I hope you all enjoyed this short lighting breakdown. If you haven't already seen it, please check out Price of Freedom. There will be a link in the YouTube description below this video. Thank you so much.